Hello everyone. <clears throat> well, I have a, uh, for sale a couple of nice uh, linear, I mean, linear actuator, air, air actuators, air cylinders, air pneumatic. The trouble of them is about half inch. They're very solid. The body is made from um, um, copper. They have a connections, both of them include the connectors and the the hose, which the hose is a the universal hose. It's not a regular hose. It's, it's designed for air pneumatic little the airlines for pneumatic actuators. It's about an 18, 18 inches per each side. So each one, each cylinder has the same amount of of line, air line. Included are the two nut uh, and uh, this coupler. Because I removed this from a machine, with this, which is working. Both pieces are working together, and this and this uh, arrangement like this. So when you do apply the air to release to re, to return the other cylinder going in and out and when you remove the air for the other get in and out I mean so and then you can gain and the total trouble is a one inch average uh, and they have I, I think it actually is included with the four tiny hex screws. It's just four because the way they was mounting what I said is in this uh, configuration. But if you notice, this is another hole right here. So if you want to use and separate, what you have to do is loose those four flat screws and just gentle switch the position until you have the support in the three. And you know two screws here and you need to, to find the other one you know they're very popular in the hardware store for the one if you want to use them separate if you want to use it with the knot is the one that uh, when you set your your coupler or whatever uh, you want into it then you put this, the knot to tight it don't let it move okay so I have a airline And let me show you. It's absolutely no leak on the cylinders. Let me see if this is. I want to try the first one. I will see what's what happened. It's okay. It's reject. So the other line is to take them out. Oops. And the other two in. The other out. And what I did is put, press, put a lot of pressure with my fingers, and I, I just I just can send it in. I mean, it's very good. So it's no leak in the chamber, no leaking. So the other line re retract, not reject. I'm sorry, retract. So let's try the other one. Oh, let's see. Out. See, I'm not able to send it back in, in back. So remove the air, put the other one, and retract in. So there's the chamber looks to be pretty good. No leak. Um, the model is TF three quarter by half I believe three quarter the cylinder by half of the travel it's like 516 rod or oh, the piston 516 you know with a flat area where you have to use to the the range to tight okay there's two pieces gonna be just twelve dollars and six dollars for shipping twelve dollars and six dollars for shipping 
USPS small flat ray box um, and included the two cylinders with the four airlines, two per each, the two knots, uh, one coupler if you want to use them both, and four hex screws. Well, thank you for watching. I will take some pictures as well. And both are exact same. Tiny Tim is the brand made by um, Monsieur Industries. Monsieur Industries Incorporation. Both are very nice, solid, good pieces. I mean, the price I think is pretty, pretty reasonable. Twelve dollars and six dollars for shipping in a flat and USPS is more flat rate box priority mail. Thank you for watching.